as it was for thousands of years, or the large schooners on their way to local ports. But remnants of those days can still be found at extreme low tides where ballast and other artifacts can be found. And once huge steam trains carried freight and travelers across wooden trestles on their way to munitions plants and towns that are no longer even listed on the maps. Ferry rafts once carried people and livestock across the river by Jeffers Landing in Egg Harbor Township and near Gravelly Run in Mays Landing. When European settlers came, they found all the necessary natural materials for shipbuilding and plenty of bog iron they could use to make cannonballs at the Weymouth Furnace during the War of 1812 and sandy soil for glass making, forests for lumber and charcoal. The list goes on. The flow of the river is, was used to power saw and grist mills until the days of the Industrial Revolution. The Great Egg Harbor River, that was once the lifeline of travel and trade to ports around the world, is now mainly used as shoreline development, fishing, clamming, oystering, and recreation. Tourism brings thousands of pleasure boats every summer. In 1992, the river and its tributaries were designated by Congress into the National Wild and Scenic River System. The National Park Service considers the river one of the top 10 places for bird watching in North America. Striped bass and herring return each year to spawn Ospreys return to rebuild their nests, and heron continue finding plenty of small fish to feed upon. The majestic bald eagles have made a remarkable comeback since DDT was banned in 1972. The river gets its tea color from the iron and tannin content from the fallen leaves and cedar roots. 
The river begins in a suburban town around Berlin, New Jersey, and meanders through the Pinelands for nearly 60 miles before finally emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. It was dammed in May's Landing around 1844, flooding about 300 acres of apple orchards. The original dam broke and a new one was constructed by R.D. Wood and Sons in 1867 as the power source for his cotton mill. He also created the Mays Landing Water Power Company. This mill closed in 1949 and was sold to Wheaton Industries, which employed many local people until it closed around 1999. The Great Egg Harbor Watershed Association was formed in 1989 to promote the protection of the river. Now the aerial shots in this video and the next one were taken as I flew over the river with my cousin in his two-seater helicopter. It was made a few years ago and you'll see changes since it was made, like the bridge over Mill Street in Mays Landing the construction of the Parkway Bridge and the BL England plant. I've lived on the river since 1976, and it has offered an amazing opportunity to take photos of nature, capture bits of history, such as the ruins of the Belkaville train trestle that was taken from our boat at low tide. My home face is west, so photos of sunsets on the river are also used in the video. We have been blessed to have raised our children on the river, which instilled in them an appreciation for its wonders and continues to be appreciated by their children, as you'll see. I originally made this video for Friends of the Parks, but never got to show it since that's exactly when COVID restrictions were set and all meetings were canceled, but that'll explain the last slide. I enjoy sharing this video to help show the beauty and history of the Great Egg Harbor River. Go.
that was made in 